Hello, Brian Knowlton back with another super cool slide reel tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn how to test a fan and limit control as well as replace one. Our fan limit control is found here. The purpose of a fan limit control is it allows the furnace to get warm before the fan turns on. It also shuts off the gas in the event that the fan fails to come on or quits working. We remove this cover. You just pry it out on the sides. I'm going to discard this for now. So at 100 degrees, the furnace will come on, and at 200 degrees, the gas valve will turn off. Now to test the function of this limit control, we use our electrical tester, as seen here. The first thing we test is continuity here and here. We have it. That is good. You move the dial. You hear the first click. That means the fan should have turned on. The second click means that the continuity should have stopped like it did. So fan and then off. That is working. Next. To check for continuity here, there is none, which is how it should be. We turn our dial. You hear it, hear it turn on there. So the fan and limit control is working properly. Now to replace it, press the tabs. This is a fan limit control. When you're replacing it, make sure and you replace it with the same length of the one that you took out. You set the settings here by moving the knobs. They're really hard to see. There's one there and there's one there. As we mentioned, this one was set at 100 and 200. This one is working properly though. But to replace it, you would simply pull the wires out put the new ones in make sure and pay close attention this one will say fan on one side limit on the other side so the limit would be from here to here and the fan would be from here to here it doesn't really matter which line which which wire goes where they do have it mentioned listed line and load but the operation that doesn't actually matter so if I was replacing this I put a brand new one in wired in bolt it right back into place like it was and we are done. Hello, I'd like to take a minute to introduce you to the coolest tool in the HVAC industry. Historically, technicians have carried four or five different slide rules. You have one for R22, one for R410A, one for metal duct sizing, one for flexible duct sizing, and yet others for diagnostics or troubleshooting. Thankfully, those days are gone. This one tool will allow you to charge a system with R22 or R410A and either the superheater subcooling method. The back cover contains required formulas, it has capacitors rules and practices, a wet bulb conversion chart, how to perform computations on series or parallel circuits, an electric heat strip guide, a complete system troubleshooting diagnostic chart, and how to troubleshoot compressors in TXV. Inside is packed with even more information. It performs sizing of both metal and flexible duct. It has the only direct reading conversion from smooth metal to insulation line metal we've ever seen. The majority of technicians have never been taught that if the insulation is on the inside of the ductwork, you cannot size it with a regular duct calculator. It has step-by-step -step directions for determining airflow through a gas furnace, electric furnace, or an air conditioning unit. It has pressure drop multipliers for duct work, as well as recommended velocities. And finally, the scanning of this QR code gives instant access to over 100 tutorials to assist the technician with every test and repair imaginable. 
you owe it to yourself as well as your customers to own this tool. It's less than $20 including shipping. The SuperCool will save you countless hours of frustration when troubleshooting units. Log on to our website and get one today and I promise you will be a better technician tomorrow. And remember, every technician is only as good as their tools. Thanks for watching.